Kelsey and Kendra and for today's first time Friday Kelsey and I are going to be making dairy-free Alfredo sauce I feel like this is our first technically official cooking video because I feel like our what we eat in the days are very like kind of like fast and straight to the point straight to the point this yeah. is like we have the ingredients laid out kind of like cooking show style so it feels more like a cooking video yeah, it does. than our other food videos yes so for today's first time Friday, I really wanted to do this video for Kelsey in particular because if you guys don't know, Kelsey cannot really have dairy like no, that. Like you eat it sometimes. I eat it sometimes, but it depends on how much milk is in something, but I can't gauge it based on looking at it. Yes. So sometimes I'm scared to eat certain dairy products because I get very sick mm -hmm. and I have the bubble guts and I'm throwing up and doing it's other not cute unmentionables. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cause I used to love Alfredo, like uh, chicken Alfredo. Like I used to always order it as a child, and after a while, I noticed that every time I would order it and I get home, you didn't feel well. I was, I would feel like crap. I would feel so sick. Like I used to think I had a virus or something, but and it, it was, wasn't. Sometimes it was like clockwork every, every single time. time. So I was just like Kelsey, uh -huh. it's the Alfredo sauce. You can't have dairy like it that. It has a lot of milk in it. Yes. If you guys look at the ingredients uh, for Alfredo sauce, when you buy it in the store, it does have milk in it, mm -hmm. whole milk, and we don't even drink whole milk in this house like ever no. we only have almond milk or coconut, so, milk. Or coconut milk so or rice milk basically anything <laughs> without dairy all the milks that don't contain dairy yeah we've tried pretty much all of them so yeah. mm -hmm. I thought this would be a good idea because it's another like dinner option like a weekend dinner option that we can make yeah mm -hmm. and you don't have to feel guilty about eating it and you don't have to be scared into you know you being sick later yeah, that's true. Yeah. It has a little bit of carbs because it's pasta, but of course. there's no milk. Yes. So yeah. I actually got this recipe from Katia Elise Henry here on YouTube. I do follow her on Instagram and she always has like a lot of good um, food options that are healthier and just better for you. So, and they're always really easy. So I just figured why not follow the ingredients that she used because it's really simple. So we're gonna do that today. So I just wanted to shout out her because this is where I got the actual recipe from. Yes. So, mm -hmm. these are the ingredients that we're going to be using. So first we have organic cashews. These are roasted and unsalted because we already have some seasonings that contain salt. So we don't want to have extra salt. Yeah. Next we have some minced garlic. This is very hard to find. All of our ingredients are from Whole Foods, but you can get any of these seasonings I think from any, any grocery store. Yeah, Publix, Walmart. Yeah, mm -hmm. except for the nutritional yeast, I think you can only get that from Whole Foods. As well as our vegan butter. You can actually get that from Publix. I have not seen this at Walmart though. Oh yeah, <laughs> Walmart's probably the last place they would have it. <laughs> um, so minced garlic, we need some garlic salt, some nutritional yeast, which I'm excited about because I heard this is how vegans have that cheesy flavor in there. Um, meals because you know cheese is like a lot of dairy and vegan um, cheese sucks it's disgusting we have not had one vegan cheese item that's good besides that uh vegan mac and cheese oh and from then the diet the, brand. the cashew queso that's about it that's but it. other than that everything nasty <laughs> um some black pepper cayenne pepper onion powder garlic powder liquid aminos so this is pretty much like soy sauce, but it doesn't have as much sodium, uh -huh. which is. So it does say soy sauce alternative on the bottle. Yes. It's by Bragg, so you can find it probably at Publix or Whole Foods. Uh -huh. Same brand as this nutritional yeast. Oh yeah, actually. it is the same brand. Uh -huh. And then for the milk, we're gonna be using the Trader Joe's non-dairy almond beverage original. So make sure it doesn't have vanilla in it or anything. Just, Just make sure. plain almond, almond, milk. almond milk. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then of course our vegan Earth Balance butter. Yes. And I really didn't have to go like out of the way to get these ingredients because I actually had most of them here already. Yeah, we have a lot of seasonings. We cook with a lot of seasoning, so I didn't have to go out and buy anything new except for the nutritional yeast and the minced garlic. Everything else we always have in the house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're just gonna get started and see how this turns out. I hope it's not disgusting. I hope it's delicious and I'm very optimistic about this. So I'm hoping this works because I did buy some vegan Alfredo sauce, but if this tastes better, I'm gonna just keep making my own. Okay. So we are just going to start by putting everything in our Ninja blender cup. And we don't wanna make like a huge batch, so we're just gonna use the cup and not like the whole like big yeah. uh, blender part. 
that's not what I'm referring to. I'm not doing exact measurements. I was just about to ask how much you do. There are measurements in the description box of her recipe, but I don't like to measure because I feel like a true cook never measures and I like to, to gauge boil these. So we have to boil the cashews first. Remember to boil them until they're soft and you know not super crunchy so they're easier to blend. Blend, yeah. So we're just gonna use like a small pot like this size to boil the cashews because uh -huh. it's like not that big of a bag. So this is like the base for, I, I've been noticing a lot of dairy free like anything with cheese alternative uh -huh. is cashew. Yes. So we used about half that bag. Uh, again, depending on like how much you're making, you can do less, you can do more, but we're doing half of this bag, which is about 10 ounces. This is a 10 ounce bag of cashews, so we're gonna do half of this bag. Okay, so we're just gonna boil the cashews for about 10 minutes, uh, I guess just until they're soft, so you can gauge depending on how your stove cooks. Yeah, everybody's like, stove top is different. I feel like everybody's stove cooks Different. different whether you have electric or gas yeah we have a gas stove so so yeah we'll be back after the cashews are done boiling okay so we have our boiled cashews like i said you only need to boil them for 10 minutes to soften them up and i'm going to drain them i said strain at first but it's drained well i guess it's kind of strained because the dropping cup because the spoon has the little slits in it okay what's the difference between strain and drain <laughs> I really don't know. Okay, so we're gonna drain them. Okay. Just pour the water out, okay? <laughs> Without you dropping them in the sink. Sorry. <laughs> this is our first cooking video. I'm an amateur right now. But we're not amateur in the kitchen in Just general. Filming ourselves cooking. Yeah, yeah. To clarify. Actually, he also kind of put a lot of cashews in here, so we're just gonna add the cashews. Oh, yeah, dude. It's kind of a lot. So, we'll make it's two of us. And the color is a little different. They're lighter. Yeah. They're lighter. Mm -hmm. From uh, soaking up the water up here. Mm -hmm. So add the cashews. Yeah, it is a, kind of a lot. And I guess it's all going to be blended. So the order in which you add everything else, I guess it really doesn't matter. All right. So you just want to work your way down from here from the butter. I think we do the butter next. Okay, I'm taking like that much butter. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's not even half. That's like a quarter of that yeah okay okay so i'm just gonna gauge it so i'm just gonna go ahead and start applying applying this is not a makeup tutorial <laughs> adding the seasonings this is garlic powder okay that looked like enough probably not no do a little bit more okay but you don't want to do too much garlic because we have the garlic the, gotcha. uh, yeah you're right that kind of whatever that kind is called. okay more onion powder because i love onion powder Okay. It's like my favorite thing to cook with. Oh, this is a new one. We haven't opened this one because we just ran out. Yeah, that's how much I cook with it because it's bomb. I'll let you open that because I'm not trying to break a nail. Okay, so you just prefer my nails to break? Okay. Okay, you can open the cayenne pepper. We usually don't cook with cayenne pepper. No, I had to buy that. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to add some black pepper. Again, we'll have all these ingredients in the description box so y'all can know what's up. We've definitely never cooked with this before, the nutritional yeast. Okay, so I get why this is a part of the recipe because it smells like cheese. It does? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so nutritional yeast is basically the cheesy flavor for vegans, I'm guessing. Uh -huh. So you can do like the bigger part, the bigger side, instead of the sprinkle side? No. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. Just add it out. It yeah. kind of looks like a lot. You think that's enough? Let's see. Just a tiny bit more. Because it's going to give it the cheesy flavor. Okay, that was not a tiny bit. But this is Alfredo if sauce. we need to add, we'll add once we do a taste test. Yes. So onion powder is what I'm adding currently. And again, you can add however much you want. That's, that's enough, Kevin. And I <laughs> tend to be a heavier handed with onion powder and garlic powder because there's no salt. Well, yeah, that's true. So... It's kind of yeah. hard to overdo it with those. Okay, this is garlic salt, so you don't want to do too much of this. Please don't. I cannot stand food that is too salty. Yes. It's it like ruins the whole it thing. It ruins the whole thing. Kind of like you food can add it later. Sweet. Yeah, you can it's add. Not salty. Yeah, you can add more. It's not salty yeah. So that's what I do. Like especially if I'm cooking for more than Kendra, like I try not to add a lot of salt because 
And some people can't have style like that. So yeah, high blood pressure and stuff. Yeah, I just let people like add extra seasoning to their own food. I'm gonna open the minced garlic and it's sealed. You didn't open the cayenne pepper. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Always use the butter knife trick. If you cannot get a jar to open, butter knife. Independent woman tips. Okay, you look like everybody learned that as a child from making peanut butter and jelly when you had that. That's not eat. true. Some people might. That's how I learned how to do it. Why you can uh, when I couldn't open the jelly. It's definitely garlic. How much of that do you add? Uh, add it's like a teaspoon. And okay, there you go. So I'm gonna add some minced garlic, and I really don't know what that means. I think. It's chopped, chopped garlic in, well, I guess pickled garlic. I don't know what that means. This contains organic garlic, water, citric acid, and salt. It's so. being pickled. Got it. Okay, so I'm gonna add that to it, like a. It smells good. Half, half a spoon. Well, not really. Never mind. That. that okay, much. that should be enough. Okay, now I'm gonna add a little bit of cayenne pepper. interesting for a fredo sauce. Only if you like a kick, so don't do too much. We'll have a little bit of a kick. Yes. Okay, now the liquid aminos. How much of this do you think you do? Like a, a dab? Amount. Like a dab? Because we already put garlic salt in there. That looks like a good amount. Did you do like a sweep? Yeah. I don't want to do a lot of that. If I need to add some more, I will. Okay. You can't. And then now the almond milk. Uh huh. Do you half or what? Because I kind of like. Half. I kind of want mine thicker. I don't want it like like soupy. Okay, so do it to like where the cashews uh, stop. So halfway. Smells good, but that's because all the seasoning we use smell pretty good. So. Yeah. Gonna right. take our ninja blender. Blend it up. Yeah. I feel like I'm making a smoothie. I know. I'm gonna have to clean this out really this good. Cook. This your smoothie cook. Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> so if your cashews kind of get stuck in this area and it's still kind of watery at the bottom, just shake it up a little bit and then continue to blend. It already looks like the color of Alfredo sauce. Blend it to me. Looks creamy. Creamy. I'm just gonna finger taste. I need more garlic salt. Garlic salt? Mm -hmm. Okay. I do taste the like cheesy flavor from the nutritional yeast, so it definitely, it definitely has the texture, but right now it kind of tastes like mashed potatoes. Really? Yeah. Okay, but you don't know how it's gonna taste over the pasta. You're right. I'm just giving you my opinion now. Why are you adding milk? Because it was a little thick. Okay. And you can actually add a little bit more liquid aminos because you did like a small amount of that. Oh yeah, it does kind of taste like mashed potatoes a little bit. See, it's very creamy. It's not nasty, it's actually pretty good. So, okay. but we're missing a little bit more flavor. So okay. that's why we said it's best to do less first and then you can add to it. Yeah. You can't take away take saltiness, away. you gotta dump the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So, you already sure. added the garlic salt, right? Yeah, I already added it first. Okay, so yeah. we're gonna blend this up some more, and then hopefully it tastes perfect to us. Mm -hmm. I got it. <laughs> Stop looking at me like that. Like what? You have slippery. to open it. No, my hand's slippery. I hate when you do this. <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> Shut up. I'm struggling right now. My hands are slippery. I don't know why they're so slippery. Let me open it. No. Oh my gosh. The pride tells the pride. We just want, we just want to try it. You always say that. Whatever. I usually open things in this house. So, yeah. Okay. We're gonna taste test again. 
It smells a little bit better too. Yeah, that's better. It's a lot better. Hmm. Yes. All right. Much better. So we already have some bow tie pasta cookie. You can put this over whatever pasta you would like. Um, so we're gonna put it over bow tie because that's what we have made. <laughs> so we have some pasta cooked, some bow tie pasta here. So whatever favorite pasta you like, you can put that with it. Yeah, we already uh, strained it. So we'll just add the sauce to the pasta and then stir it. Ooh. So it's a nice color. Definitely looks like Alfredo, if you guys can see that. Yes. Yeah, we're just gonna mix that, whatever you like to do with your pasta. Some people like to have sauce over pasta, like on top, and mix it themselves. Or if you already want the whole thing mixed, you can do that. But Alfredo, I prefer it. Um, but yeah, Alfredo, yeah, you definitely wanna mix it. And you can add like some kind of vegetable to this. That, that's what I would do. I would add broccoli or asparagus yeah. to it, because I like Both pasta with some kind of veggie in or it. Or spinach. Or spinach, yeah. That'd yeah. Be good too. So, or all three, you can do all three. Yeah, that'd be good. Oh, that sounds good. Uh -huh. See, we actually have some more left. Yes. So we can use that. So we could just start using this size to make the sauce, because if you make anything any bigger, it's like way too much. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so we have the final product here, and we're about to get ready to do the taste test. Uh -huh. So I hope this is good. Wait. I... Okay. It's not bad. It tastes like Alfredo. You think? I haven't had Alfredo in so long. I honestly can't really compare it because I haven't, like you said, we haven't had it in so long. But I haven't had it even longer than you. Yeah. It's been like years. Cause the pasta that I ordered when we go to like our favorite restaurant, it's called Coletta. It's a white sauce, but it's not Alfredo sauce. It's like a wine sauce. But this is good though. But like this is very good. This is really good if you get tired of like having red sauce all the time, like marinara or like a garlic sauce or a vodka sauce or something. You can just yeah do this. Spaghetti. Looks good. I like it. Mm-hmm. You can add salmon to it. You can add chicken to it. If mm. you eat meat. Salmon would be good. This is good. Mm. It's very light too. It's not like too, too uh, rich, mm -hmm. which is what sometimes would be too much for me with the original Alfredo sauce. It used to taste too rich, but this is like very light, very smooth. And I can weird. taste the cayenne in it. I can taste the kick. Slightly, because we didn't put that much. Yeah. But the first taste, I guess it was like an acquired taste. Kind of like when you first try like a green, um, a green tea matcha or something. It's an acquired taste, but then you keep drinking it and you're like addicted to it. Mm -hmm. So this is really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so from a scale of one to 10, what would you give it? This is a solid eight. An eight. Mm -hmm. Is it a good alternative? Great alternative. Like I don't miss Alfredo sauce eating this. I don't miss the original Alfredo sauce because uh -huh. this is such a good alternative. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And I like that you can customize the ingredients. You can add to it. You can not do as much of one ingredient if you prefer something else. So I like that it's very like custom. Mm -hmm. um, and if you are lactose intolerant like Kelsey, then I feel like this would be a great option for you, especially if you love pasta. And Definitely. Yeah. like we said, if you get sick of any kind of red sauce dishes, this is a good you know, alternative to pasta than what you normally have. So I definitely recommend this recipe. Mm -hmm. And I'm so grateful for Katia for having this recipe on her channel because I just love finding new ideas to make things that weren't as healthy healthier. Yeah. Um, Cause mm -hmm. we always try to find like alternatives to the stuff we like to eat that weren't that healthy. Yeah, that are better. find a better option. That are better, we make an effort. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you guys let us know if you want like more cooking videos like this because this was kind of fun for us to do and this is mm -hmm. technically our lunch. <laughs> so we're ki killing two birds with one stone. It's very true. Very convenient. Mm -hmm. So if you would like more cooking videos like this or um, any healthier like cooking options. Or in the kitchen with Kelsey and Kendra because we actually do have our own recipes that we can share with you. Yeah. Because this was like a more of a first time Friday type thing because we've never made this before. Mm -hmm. But like Kendra said, if you guys want us to like actually, you know, share yeah. our actual own recipes, mm -hmm. we can do that for you guys as well. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up this video. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check the description box for all the ingredients so you guys can indulge in this goodness and let us know if you tried the recipe and if you like it. Mm -hmm. If you don't, 
that's not you know we we make no promises yeah but we like it so we hope you like it mm -hmm. you know so yeah we hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time